Three years after first being introduced, metered parking is as talked about in Port Jefferson as the Bridgeport Ferry or a bustling Main Street. However, not many people are aware of how the system is enforced. I have no clue. I didn't even know this was here. I would have parked on the inside. Um, I guess the scanner, they use a scanner on your car. <laughs> but I'm not really sure. I'm not sure if it's a portable device that they use or if they actually go to the meter and check it. I have no idea. Most meter users know the basics. You pay for your allotted time at one of the 22 parking meters, go about your business in the village, and if you stay beyond your time limit, the constable gives you a ticket. But what happens after you put your money into one of the meters? Good job. Now the green button. Green. One, two, three, four, five. Good counting. How does the constable watch over the nearly 700 metered parking spaces in the village? How do they know it's time to write one of the more than 7,000 tickets for metered parking violations that have been issued since the beginning of 2008? The enforcement officer's secret starts and ends here. These officers, of course, uh, require the use of a, uh, a PDA, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a device such as this. Right. The parking meters are a part of a wireless network that connects to a central server in Village Hall. For officers like Mike McClary, this server updates the information on their PDA and enables them to enforce the metered parking. Green means that they have paid. Uh, it indicates how much money they put in, which meter that they put uh, their money into, and what time they are paid until these non-highlighted spots mean that no one has paid for that space. These purple ones actually indicate spots that have recently expired, but we give you a 10 minute uh, grace period. As appearance ticket officers survey the lots, they frequently come across illegally parked vehicles. What I do is I always refresh it, refresh the screen. It automatically refreshes every 60 seconds, but I do it just for safety. Because if someone paid, I don't want to give them a ticket if they don't deserve it. All right, so my device is still saying the same thing. So what I would do now is physically get out of the vehicle and check the vehicle for any any uh, receipts or anything from actually paying the meter. And right now, I'm just visually inspecting to make sure they don't have any receipts. That they might have parked somewhere else and paid. And I don't see anything. And they don't have a village permit. So right now, they... Are parked illegally. Village residents don't have to worry about being parked illegally in the metered lots, as long as they have a yellow residential parking sticker displayed on their car. So that's how it works, and then we can we can select uh, whichever lot that we want to go to. A color-coded system and 21st century technology. That's how metered parking is enforced in the village of Port Jefferson. From Stony Brook University, this is Joshua Seidman.